Hey, Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. We are going to do a reading for Pisces today. I am a Taurus sun, but I am a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I have a vested interest in what comes out here in this Pisces spread. We are going to do a big old reading for Pisces. Something's going on. Not quite sure what it was. I had a crazy dream um, under the full moon the other night. I moved into a new place and the full moon uh, shines right through my bedroom window and shines literally on my bed. And I like it like that. <laughs> I like it like that. But I had a crazy dream, some kind of astral projection. It's the closest thing that I've ever really experienced um, to that phenomenon, right? Astral projection. You know, when you sleep, you go somewhere. Where do you go? Anywho, had this crazy dream and um, it was filled with peace and had joy and happiness and warm fuzzies. And I just feel compelled to read. So I just did a reading for Taurus. Now I'm going to throw down for Pisces and we'll see what spirit has to say. We're going to do it like we always do it. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it. If the clarification process gets too lengthy or too in-depth, I will fast forward that section and we'll pick up right where we left off. Okay, so let's just dive straight into it. The cards are excited. I'm excited. Let's see what the what the universe has to say for Pisces. Okay, now y'all remember that the tarot is an intimate divination tool. It's not supposed to be broadcast to an auditorium or a YouTube channel full of 80,000 people. It's meant to be used between the recipient, the medium, and their higher power. So take this with a grain of salt. If you see anything in my general tarot card readings or anyone else's that needs clarification, confirmation, wisdom, or understanding, please have your own cards read. Um, and if it's not with me, get them read with someone, but don't take a general tarot card reading as um, solid advice for your life, okay? All right, let's get started. We're just going to jump straight in. So give me a, a second to channel and uh, we'll see what the cards have to say for Pisces. Spirit, Source, let me turn this so y'all can see me a little bit better. How's that? There we go. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. Ooh, I have the Collective of Pisces with me. Spirit and Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does the collective of Pisces need to know about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret but to explain as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is the message for the collective of Pisces, Spirit? What do, right there, what do they need to know and understand? All right, let's cut three times. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is judgment. Interesting judgment. We'll put that right up there so I can refer back to that. Very interesting. Conscious cognitive decision. All right. First cup out is Pisces. <laughs> this is the queen of cups. This is mature, grown emotions. Okay. The wheel in reverse. Some kind of blockage for divine orchestration in your life. Seven of Swords in reverse, a mentality that you need to break free from. The Ace of Cups, so new love can come into your life or emotional growth. The Queen of Wands, I don't know what that is. We'll see. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, um, high expectations or something that can't be worked on or worked out. The Star in reverse, not purposeful. Nine of Wands in reverse, overwhelmed, defensiveness, giving up. Princess of Pentacles, Manifestation, The Hanged Man, The Hierophant in Reverse, A Reevaluation of Your Belief System, The Five of Wands, Conflict, The Devil, The 
Seven of Wands, a challenge, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck, the Tower, the Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, the Eight of Swords, trapped in fear, Six of Wands, for success, Six of Swords, you have to leave that mentality behind. The world in reverse, just like the wheel in reverse, there is a blockage, Two of Wands in reverse, to your future. Ace of Pentacles in reverse to your manifestation, Nine of Cups to emotional fulfillment. Prince of Cups in reverse, downtrodden in the emotions. Prince of Swords, we will see. Temperance in reverse to the Empress, to the Hermit, to Death. Fantastic. Prince of Wands to the King of Cups. Look at that. Look at that. All right, that's where we're going to stop. Let's see what this is about. Let's see. You know what? I think I want to use these instead. Let's see what this whole thing is about here, Pisces. So judgment on the bottom of the deck, a conscious cognitive decision that is going to change the trajectory of your path, your life, and your future. Spirit, can you tell me what judgment is about right here? Can you please tell me what judgment is about? What is this conscious cognitive decision that Pisces needs to make. The Ace of Pentacles, a conscious cognitive decision to manifest something new or to allow something new to come into your life. So the Queen of Cups, first card out, sets the tone for the whole reading. This is Pisces. This is Pisces. Interesting. To strength. Pisces needs to overcome something. It's a blockage for sure with the wheel in reverse. It's a mindset for sure with the seven of swords in reverse. What is this? Six of pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity, the six of cups in reverse, um, the past, stuck in the past, the eight of swords in reverse, a new perspective is needed. Knight of Cups in reverse, to the King of Pentacles in reverse, to the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Seven of Swords in reverse says it's time to break free from some kind of futile mindset. Hmm. To the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups to the Lovers in Death. Look at that. Wow. Who's this Queen of Wands right here? Who is this Queen of Wands? Is this Pisces or is this someone else? Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is she and what role does she play in this spread? Who is this Queen of Wands right here? Is it someone else? Who is this Queen of Wands, please? Who is the Queen of Wands? Not going to tell me the Five of Wands. Conflict. Conflict backbiting another woman another man another another person another person he she they right another person to the five of wands so what is this conflict what is the conflict look to the queen of wands again interesting the eight of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse to the ten of pentacles in reverse hmm Maybe this is about a career opportunity. Can't be worked out. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Can't have what it is that you want. Can't create what it is that you want. Tell me a little bit more about this, please. Tell me a little bit more about this, please. Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal, regeneration, inevitable ending. Five of Pentacles in reverse, coming out of a financial bind, perhaps? The star in reverse, not purposeful. What isn't purposeful here for Pisces, Spirit? What is not purposeful for Pisces? Lack of inspiration. Okay. To the Nine of Wands in reverse, in the center of the reading. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. So the Queen of Cups, the card of Pisces, okay? This is someone that is in touch with her emotions, 
in touch with her intuitions, in touch with herself. So Queen of Cups, first card out, sets the tone for the whole reading. This is the card of Pisces. This is someone who is in touch with their emotions, in touch with their intuition, and prepared to move forward in, a, in an emotionally controlled, emotionally secure, emotional state of being. Okay? Strength. Pisces needs to overcome something that is a weakness to the magician. So Pisces can manifest what it is they want to manifest in their lives. There is something cooking. There is something trying to come into your life. And Pisces needs to pull it together so it can materialize in your life. The wheel in reverse. Because spirit is trying to divinely orchestrate something into your life, but there is a blockage and they can't. What's the blockage? Well, it's a futile mindset. Seven of Swords in Reverse is about breaking free from a futile mindset. Why is it a futile mindset? Well, the Seven of Swords in the upright is betrayal, deception, somebody trying to get away with something, lying, cheating, stealing. So the futile mindset is something that with this tower down here that has happened to you in the past that you're still holding on to and it's futile to hold on to it because it means absolutely nothing for your future. It may have meant something in your past, but it means absolutely nothing to your future. That's why the wheel is in reverse. The wheel cannot be a turning point in your life if you are locked on some kind of mindset that does not serve your future. What is, what's, what's, what's being blocked? Well, the Six of Pentacles, prosperity, definitely prosperity. The giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity with another, that's what's being blocked. Why? Six of Cups in reverse, because you're stuck in the past. You are stuck in the past on something that you have not come to terms with yet. Eight of Swords in Reverse, same as the Seven of Swords in Reverse, breaking free of a futile mindset. The Eight of Swords is about being trapped in your mind and paralyzed with fear. There needs to be a new perspective. You need to break free of a futile mindset. What is this about? The Knight of Cups in Reverse, that there is not... The Knight of Cups is about unrealistic to continue to invest emotions. Knight of Cups in the upright is about someone that, like the, like the Queen of Cups, in touch with their emotions, in touch with their intuition, gathered together all of the broken pieces and put them back in um, the vessel, okay? In reverse, what it's saying is that it's unrealistic to continue to have broken emotions, fragmented emotions. It's not in your best interest to stay stuck in your past. What's it all about? Well, the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who used to hold title in your life but does not anymore. To the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles represents you in your sense of well-being. So what this is telling me is that there was some kind of relationship in your past, whether it was a love relationship, a work relationship, a friendship, a family, whatever. But somebody used to be side by side with you as the king of pentacles in the upright, and you were the queen of pentacles. The king and queen of pentacles are domestic harmony. They are a, 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 a sense of well-being and domestic harmony, okay? With the king of pentacles in reverse, this tells me, and the queen of pentacles still in the upright, that this is not anymore, but you're still holding on to what it should have been instead of accepting the reality of what it is. And because of that, you are locked in a flesh 
understanding of your life and your future. What is the flesh understanding? Well, it's the ego. It's the struggle of all humanity. Do we do our own thing or do we have a consciousness and an awakening that makes us realize and understand that everything that we choose out of the flesh, because the ego wants what it wants, what it wants, right? Every time we choose something out of the flesh, spirit cannot intervene in our free will. And because they can't intervene in our free will, this whole thing just has to play out until it ultimately ends in a tower moment. And when you choose things out of the flesh and the ego, instead of the spiritual understanding, it will inevitably end in a tower moment. So what this tells me is that you are holding on to the way that things should have been. But this also tells me with the King of Pentacles in reverse that the person that you are holding on to because it should have, could have, would have been a different way is your own doing because you chose someone that was incapable of being a King of Pentacles to your Queen of Pentacles. You were trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And now you are disgruntled and caught up in your mind on an obsession about something that, damn it, it should have been different. But the point is, is that you made a bad choice, Pisces. You made a bad choice. You tried to bring out the potential of someone that you saw in the light of the King of Pentacles. But the fact of the matter is they were not capable of being a King of Pentacles for you. So what this is saying is it's time for you to take accountability for your bad decisions. It's time for you to stop lamenting and ruminating on what this person could have been in your life and accept the reality that you chose someone that was incapable of being what it was that you wanted to create in your life. That's the judgment card on the bottom of the deck. That's the judgment card. You have to make a conscious cognitive decision, draw a line in the sand and understand that if you continue to hold on to this, spirit cannot intervene in your free will and you are blocked from manifesting anything else. Ace of Pentacles, there's new opportunities out there for you. There's a new chance of a new love relationship, but you are hung up on something that coulda, shoulda, woulda, possibly blaming it on the other person for not meeting your expectations when in fact it's your fault for choosing someone that could have never lived up to the title of the King of Pentacles in the first place page of swords. It's time for a new way of thinking because there is something knocking on your door, Pisces. There is a brand new love relationship waiting in the wings to enter into your life, but spirit cannot divinely orchestrate the coming together of the two of you because your free will keeps you hung up on something that you should not be hung up on. The chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to make the decisions that result in the actions that catapult you, that escort you into a divinely guided path of your life instead of your own free will choosing the flesh and the ego. Well, I want what I want, what I want. This is what I want. I don't want anything else. And if you stay like that, you will stay blocked. Six of Pentacles. Spirit is trying to usher you into the giving and the receiving and the sharing of prosperity with another or others in your life. But your bowed back with the Nine of Pentacles is preventing this. The Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient, independent, it's a little bit of a cocky attitude that I feel in this card. Not usually, but right here I do. And Pisces is like, no. Nope. Nope, nope. If I can't have what I want, I don't want anything at all. And Spirit says, Pisces, you're a fool. You're a fool for holding on to this mentality. Princess of Swords. Again, second time. A new seedling, a new way of thinking is in order here. Why? 
Ace of Cups, because there is new love on the horizon for you, Pisces. There is brand new love. You need to emotionally grow out of this hang up that you have with the shoulda, coulda, wouldas and allow yourself to engage in a spiritually orchestrated relationship. The lovers, there is a new relationship and new love knocking at your door. Death comes on top of this and says, first and foremost, you have to bring to an absolute 100% ending of this, this attitude over here, this, this holding on and lamenting and having this, this frozen mindset, this futile mindset, it needs to come to an end. Death is powerful. If you've ever had anyone or anything in your life pass over to the other side, you understand there is no going back. There is no rectifying the past. There is no reconciling the past. It simply stops. And that's what this death card is about because the six of cups in reverse right here talks about you trying in your emotions to reconcile what did not work for you in the past. You cannot reconcile it. You simply have to accept it and move on. Death says there will be a massive transformation of your life if you will let this go because it was not for you. The queen of wands, you thought it was for you, but a spiritual understanding dictates that it's not for you. The queen of wands, the queen of wands. Let's see what this is about right here. The queen of wands, you know, I still need, a, I still need one clarification for this queen of wands. I just want to process of elimination. Spirit, tell me, what is this Queen of Wands about right here? Is this Pisces? Is this Pisces? It is you, okay? So I got affirmation when I clarified, and I got affirmation now. This is absolutely you. What do you got to do here? Well, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups says you think you got yourself emotionally in check, but the fact of the matter is that, is that you don't. You are focusing on the three cups. I got this nailed down. I'm over this. I'm over this. But the hand of spirit is saying, no, you're not. Take the information that's in this cup and it will bring stability to your emotional processes, to the knight of wands. And it will give you a kick in the ass and help you to move forward because there is a huge very serious love relationship about to manifest into your life. And if you're hung up on this futile mentality, you're going to miss it. You know, there's a lot of people that say what's meant for you will be yours. I don't believe that. I believe that if you're stuck in the ego, the flesh of, of human understanding, you can very, very much miss the boat, Pisces. The five of wands, conflict to the queen of wands. Again, the queen of wands is you. The queen of wands is you pulling it together. The queen of wands is your ego, okay? It's fire energy. It is rooted in the ego. So what this is saying is that your ego is standing in the way. And when I say ego, I don't mean big houses and fancy cars and Dolce and Gabbana, okay? The ego is human nature. We are all born into the ego. And it is the proverbial struggle of humanity. Are we going to awaken and realize that there is more than what it is that we see and desire? And this is what Spirit's trying to tell you right here. You have to let the ego go. See, the Queen of Wands gets Queen of Wands gets what she wants. She gets what she wants. And you can't have this over here. And it's got you just all stuck in your craw about it. The Two of Wands. Oh, let me back up. The Five of Wands, right? Conflict. 
Your ego, Pisces, is causing your own conflict in your life. It is time for you to wake up, step out of, I want what I want what I want, and damn it, I'm going to get it, and realize that you have made poor choices in relationships in your past, and it is time for you to surrender and let spirit run the show for a minute. Two of Wands, if you want the future that it is that you desire for yourself, the Hierophant, you have to spiritually level up. Because if you're walking around out there all cocky like the Queen of Wands and I want this and I want that and I want this and I'm going to make it happen, you are going down the wrong road. Going down the wrong road. There is commitment. There is a relationship in your future. The Three of Wands filled with joy and celebration. It's around you right now, the Three of Cups. It's community. It's friendship. It's also about reuniting with possibly someone from your past, but I have no other cards here that indicate that. It's new. It's meeting someone new. And this new person that you're going to meet is going to result in commitment. But you have to make a conscious, cognitive decision with judgment three of swords to come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, the pain, and or the rejection from your past. Eight of Pentacles. So you can build the future that you want for yourself. Eight of Pentacles also talks about you working on the issues that you need to work on so you can be bigger, better, and stronger when this relationship comes into your life. Yeah, look. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse right there, right? Eight of Pentacles in reverse is super high expectations. Super high expectations that aren't ever going to work out for you because if you keep doing it out of your own will, you're going to keep making the same mistakes and the same bad decisions that got you in this place in the first place. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The future that you want for yourself cannot be built on the framework that you are standing in right now. It cannot. Ten of Swords in reverse. All the relationships that you will have in your ego will ultimately come to ruin. They will. And everybody's sitting back there going, how dare you say that? How dare you say that? It's true. If you are a, a, an awakened person and you have a desire to follow some kind of spiritual guidance system in your life, and if you hadn't had some kind of an awakening or are poised to have some kind of an awakening, we wouldn't be doing a tarot card reading right now and you sure as hell wouldn't be watching this. Anything that you create in your flesh will ultimately come to a tower demise. Five of Pentacles in reverse, and you will find yourself ruminating forever and always in a state of spiritual poverty. That is a very severe message. Very severe message. Star in reverse, the way you're doing it is not purposeful for your life. It's not part of your path, and you are blocking spirit from divinely orchestrating a beautiful relationship into your life. Knight of Wands in reverse. This is delays, delays, frustrations, can't move forward, feeling stuck. Perhaps you're feeling stuck in your whole life. And it's all rooted to what it is that you think should be your life. And spirit has other ideas of what your life should be. And you are in direct conflict with your spiritual journey. Nine of Wands in reverse in the center of your reading. This, oh, I'm, yep, Nine of Wands in reverse in the center of your reading. This card is about being defensive, right? And again, I want to say fire energy, a little bit of a tingle of ego here, right? Being defensive. Well, I know what's best for me. I know what I want from my life. I know who I want in my life. I know how I want my life to be, and I'm not going to settle for anything different. 
You just keep on keeping on like that, Pisces, and we'll see you in the tower over and over and over again. Ace of Wands says there needs to be a new inspiration. There is a new opportunity that is coming to you that is filled with potential. The Page of Cups, it is a new emotional connection that needs to be made. Eight of Wands, but you have to change your mode of operandum, let go of the past and embrace the future to the Princess of Pentacles. This is the manifestation of a new sense of well-being. This is the foundation by which to allow spirit to flip this in the upright and divinely orchestrate the steps of your path, to flip the star in the upright and point you in the direction of your best and highest good. The hangman. Take a step back. Reevaluate the situation, your situation. This is a whole life blockage here. Take a step back, reevaluate, come out on the other side with a new perspective because you have been holding on to this King of Pentacles in reverse for way, way, way too long. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mentality to the magician so you can begin to manifest so you can begin to co-create with the universe the path that is in your best and highest good. The Hierophant in reverse. There needs to be a reevaluation of your belief system, Pisces. The Hierophant is about your spirituality. There needs to be a reevaluation of the way you believe things should go in your life. Five of Wands, because you, of your own free will, are only creating conflict in your life. To the devil. The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. It is toxic. It is the dark side, the dark shadow self of Pisces. What are all three car of these cards about? Well, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotional insecurity. The Queen of Cups in the upright is someone up here that is in touch with the intuition, in touch with the emotions, and prepared to move forward in a controlled, secure manner. The Queen of Cups in reverse is out of control of your emotions. Why are you out of control of your emotions? Because you are obsessing about something from the past that you think should have been, but it's not. It's not for you, it's not for your life, it's not for your future. That's the devil. The fool in reverse. Spirit says it's foolish of you to waste your time on this. There's things that need to be accomplished and your free will is preventing spirit from intervening in your life. The four of wands. Peace, contentment, stability in some kind of long-term situation to the world, that is the next chapter of your life. That's where spirit wants to take you. This cycle of your life needs to close and this brand new cycle of your life needs to be accepted and embraced so spirit can lead you to the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Seven of Wands, your challenge, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, is being stuck. Stuck in what? A tower mentality. Instead of, you know, the tower is supposed to be an awakening. Everybody thinks, oh God, the tower, it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible. No, the tower is supposed to be your cue that what it is you are trying to build in your life cannot be built on the foundation that you have chosen to build it upon. It's supposed to be a revelation and an awakening that makes you look around and go, whoa, 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 I can't build my life on this foundation. It can't bear the weight of what it is that I'm trying to build. But instead, Pisces is crawling through the rubble of the tower, trying to put the pieces back together because, damn it, this is what I want. This is what I want. 
This is how it needs to be. This is what I want. And Spirit says you can spend your entire lifetime crawling through the rubble of the tower, rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding on some kind of some kind of emotional codependency of what shoulda, coulda, woulda been in the past. But it's not going to change anything. You're just going to continue to have a crash and burn and a crash and burn and a crash and burn over and over and over again. You must change your mindset, Pisces. Stop crawling through the rubble. Tears streaked face, covered in ashes, skinned up knees, broken nails, trying to shove these pieces of what it is you want back together again. Stand up. Brush yourself off and move someplace else to begin to rebuild what it is you want in your life from a spiritual understanding. The Eight of Cups, staying in the tower, will only bring you emotional hopelessness. The Sun. We are trying to lead you to happiness, success, and vitality. We are hoping that you will see things clearly. Seven of Cups, because you're going to be faced with some options, some choices, some decisions that are going to dictate your future one way or another. The Eight of Swords, trapped in your mind, trapped in your head, holding on to a mentality, an ideology that you are refusing to give up on. The Six of Wands, because you think that whatever this is for you is the path to success. Six of Swords, Spirit says it's baggage and you need to leave it behind. Seven of Wands in reverse. To the world, the longer you fight this, the longer your life will not turn a corner. The world in the upright is someone who puts in critical self-analysis. They stand back, they look in the mirror and they're like, all right, my life isn't going the way that it should be going. What do I need to do differently within myself? See, the world in reverse is someone that says my life isn't going the way that it's supposed to go because of everybody else because people have screwed me over. They've lied to me. They've cheated on me. It was supposed to be different. That will keep you blocked. The world in the upright says this cycle of your life closes and a new cycle of your life begins because you begin to have a new perspective about what it is that you have been holding on to with a white knuckle grip. It's not in your best interest. This cycle of your life needs to close so a new cycle of your life can begin. So spirit can divinely orchestrate your steps and point you towards a turning point in your life. The star will lead you towards purpose in your path. Two of Wands in reverse. You cannot build your future the way that you are sitting right now, Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's nothing good to be had here. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction cannot be found in being out of control of your emotions. It's counter, it's, it's counter, it's counteractive, counterproductive, I should say. The Prince of Swords, it is time to wrap your mind around a, an understanding and execute it in your life. To temperance in reverse because there is a whole being imbalance happening inside of you what's the imbalance well pisces is going to live pisces's life however it is pisces deems to be right and good and proper and spirit is saying you just keep on doing that and we'll see you in the tower over and over and over again when you come to an understanding and an awakening that there is something bigger and stronger that knows the end game that you don't, that is constantly trying to push you in that direction, that's when you will come to terms and the world will close and a new cycle will begin. The Empress. The Empress is you standing in your power. She is lesson number three of the major arcana. She understands that where her thoughts go, her reality becomes. 
It's the power of manifestation. What you think about comes about whether you like it or not. And up here, you're thinking about how much it is that you wanted something that did not materialize for you. And you are in your subconscious obsessing about this over and over and over again. And it's blocking the whole movement of your life. The Empress understands that what she thinks about comes about and she monitors her subconscious and her thought life. She understands that her intuition is her higher power leading her in the direction that she should go for her best and highest good. Spirit is saying, step back into your power, your spiritual power. Step into your spiritual understanding. How do you do that? The hermit. It's time for you to get on your knees and give it up. Admit that you don't know what the hell you're doing, Pisces and ask your higher power to lead you and guide you and they will illuminate for you the next steps that you should take death there needs to be an absolute 100 percent final ending to whatever this is that you are holding on to so spirit can work in the background and transform your life Prince of Wands, you must take some inspired action to understand this so spirit can deliver to you the Ace of Cups and the Lovers in a brand new cycle of your life. So spirit can deliver to you the King of Cups to your Queen of Cups. Have some strength to overcome your ego magician so spirit can manifest into your life the the true and proper path that you as an individual should be walking in order to be able to create the kind of life that you want for yourself that's what these cards say for you pisces it's time to let go of something that you have been holding on to so spirit can begin to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. Tell me more. Look, love, look at that. That's what's trying to come into your life, Pisces. The Ace of Cups, there is a new beginning to love in your life. The lovers, there is a significant spiritually ordained relationship in your future death but you have to overcome you have to bring an absolute ending queen of wands to your ego four of cups the ego that keeps telling you you're on the right track you're doing the right thing you're headed in the right direction the ego of the queen of wands is preventing your future there is commitment right around the corner as soon as you spiritually grow up a little bit the three of cups you are going to meet this divinely orchestrated person this relationship is waiting for you to tell your ego to take a back seat let go of what it is that you're holding on to so hard and embrace the absolute magnificence of what it is to have spirit divinely orchestrate the steps of your path there you go pisces that's for you love should we read this card let's read it why not let's read it let's read it pisces six six interesting six is has something to do with the taurus reading too and as i always say because i am taurus and pisces um these readings are interchangeable they are if this reading resonates with you go watch the taurus reading and if you're a taurus this reading i guarantee it if the taurus reading resonated with you this reading is going to resonate with you as well it's different because Taurus is out of the sense of well-being and Pisces is out of the emotions. So there's a different perspective from the Taurus reading than there is from the Pisces reading and vice versa. But nevertheless, let's read love. This card indicates a need to see the world through the eyes of love and to remember that at all times only love is real. When you look beyond the illusion to see the beauty in the world, you align yourself with source and the intentions of your soul. Because you attract what you are, when you see through the eyes of love, that will surround you. That's what will surround you in all areas of your life. 
This card also indicates a need to go within to recognize and address any limiting thoughts and beliefs that are holding you back from experiencing love. This is a time when you must ask yourself, am I truly open to giving and receiving love? Do I truly believe I am worthy of love? Do I really believe that love exists for me? Because only because love only comes when you believe that it exists, when you're open to giving and receiving it, when you know that you are worthy. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to see and believe in love. When you believe in love and cherish your life as it is today, love will embrace you in ways you've never known. Unconditional love of self and others will attract more love into your life. And it's followed by personal growth, which is what this is all about for you right here. Interesting. I hope that helps somebody somewhere, Pisces. Um, if you need your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Um, yeah, and if you need some kind of clarification, get your cards read. If it's not by me, get them read by someone else. But never, ever, ever go on simply what a general tarot card reading has to say. Mine or anybody else's, okay? Namaste, Pisces. <laughs>